Hello, this is Jennifer, a meteorologist of the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, with the August edition of A Look Back. Once a month, we've been examining one historical weather event from eastern North Dakota or the northwest quarter of Minnesota. Last month, we looked at the July 9, 1995 Halleck tornado. Older versions of A Look Back can be found on our office YouTube page. So let's take a closer look at the August 3rd, 1896 Grafton tornado. There is no documentation of this tornado in official National Weather Service records. Very little weather information remains from 1896. However, the tornado was included in the book, Significant Tornadoes by Thomas Grizzulius. Significant Tornadoes said the tornado hit at 2230 local standard time caused three injuries, caused F3 related damage, and then moved east. Historical weather maps can be found in the daily weather map series. In 1896, this archive only contained a weather map from 8 a.m., so it is not that helpful. However, it does show low pressure along the North Dakota-Montana border the morning of August 2nd. By the morning of August 3rd, low pressure remained over the northern plains. August 2nd was a hot day with high temperatures in the 90s over the Dakotas and western Minnesota. So where can someone researching this weather event find more information? About the only other source is newspapers. Information about the Grafton tornado actually made it to newspapers on both coasts of the United States. In the late 1800s, Tornadoes were called hurricanes, strong winds, and cyclones. If you remember, the Significant Tornadoes book said the tornado hit at 2230 local standard time. In 1896, time was not kept the same way it is today, so what 2230 meant was somewhat in question. North Dakota newspapers in August 1896 says the storm hit at 1.30 a.m. Significant Tornadoes records the date of this tornado as August 2nd. However, 1.30 a.m. was likely August 3rd. This is a good example of how dates and times can easily be confused. Significant Tornadoes said there were three injuries. Local newspapers said there were two. An older lady was blown from a house wreck and suffered a shoulder injury and facial cuts. A four-year-old boy in the same house wreck had severe scalp wounds. Significant tornadoes rated this tornado as an F3. Newspaper accounts said wooden homes and barns were leveled. There were no building codes in 1896, so homes and barns were likely not constructed as well as they are today. But this is a big judgment call. It could just as easily be rated an EF2 tornado. Significant Tornadoes said the tornado hit two miles south of Grafton. Newspaper accounts actually say it was either one mile south or one and a half miles south of Grafton. But was the Grafton damage a singular event or was it part of a larger episode? That will be hard to ever know. Newspaper accounts said a heavy windstorm overturned small buildings and twisted large buildings in the course of construction at Minnewaukan, North Dakota. At Grafton, a house was destroyed and its stove was thrown 100 feet away. A barn, schoolhouse, and granary were heavily damaged. At Stephen, Minnesota, small buildings were turned over and torn to pieces. A large new church was blown off its foundation. If you connect all three of these points, it is nearly a straight line. So the th three events could be part of a larger storm system. On July 4th of this year, there was a large bowing line of thunderstorms that tracked from west to east across this area. Widespread strong winds were reported, and within portions of this line, a few tornadoes formed. Could this be similar to what happened on August 3rd, 1896? It is possible. However, exactly what happened on that day back in 1896 will probably never be known. That concludes this edition of A Look Back. Thanks for listening.